Alright guys, this is part two of discussing Cuphead bosses. We're going to be covering Inkwell Isle 3 and Inkwell Hell. Alright, let's um, move this. Alright, yes. Yes, it's really hard to see, but just bear with me, alright? So, let me uh, go to my page. Um, the big yellow, like, hotel with the bee, Honeycomb, Honeycomb Herald is the boss, like, stage level name, and I really do like this boss. This boss, you have to travel upwards, also avoiding other obstacles, and then you have to keep on going upwards, it's like, and then slowly over time, it's a little bit faster. And, um, yeah, I just really like this boss because you have to keep on staying on your toes. So, when you do that, it's like, well, that's like with all of the bosses, you always have to stay on your toes. But this, this boss, it got me a little bit more, uh, amped up. Captain Bernie Beard. The, the little ship down there it's kind of cut off but yeah he's real <laughs> he's really cool um yeah <laughs> uh his attack he's really easy i a lot of people have agreed with me that this boss is pretty simple and easy so like yeah he he has a like unique type of style because you don't move too much you just go back and forth while dodging the uh the treasure chest that smashes down it's pretty easy when you get the hang of it you should be able to defeat that maybe like 10 like tries or so but if you're pretty good at it you know it'll probably be less Tala Maria also Sally's, oh, <laughs> whoops, and that is high seas, high jinx. You can kind of see it if you will look at the water, or if you look at Captain Bernie Bear, and you follow that. There's like a little like, like there's pixels over there. You'll 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 see if you can figure that out. Um, <laughs> I heard I like this boss a lot more than I liked other like battles she's up there with um what was her name uh hildeberg she's up there with hildeberg but like yeah so like i said dojimi and wally warbles they're not too good but hildeberg and Kala maria are like on the same level Kala maria is um has really really like bizarre and hard attacks but just the way how like the scenery and everything works together it just works very very well and for some reason it just I like this boss a lot more than other bosses and that's pretty funny because you only get to go into the plane like five times or so so it's not extremely bad but it's not the worst so um now we're gonna be talking about um mr cal's robot or also known as junkyard g jival i don't know if you look at the uh the white the yellow tower and you see that like little gate you follow that and then you see like a junkyard that's where it is so basically um he is really hard to deal with, but I really do like his attacks because, like, even though that this is a really, really long battle, I really, I really like it. Like, in the background, there's always something you always, this is a really hard level because there's so much to pay attention to, and that's what I like about it. And, uh, yeah, now we're gonna be talking about, um... Tom and Jerry, also known as Warner Warman and the Cat, but yeah, and it's called Marine Corps. 
I don't really like this battle. It's it's kind of like Ribby and Croaks. It's not hard, but it shouldn't be here because it seems like a simple level. And it's an Inkwell IL-3, kind of like Captain Bernie Beard. Captain Bernie Beard was like the flower in uh, the first part. He was, the, Captain Bernie Beard was kind of like Cackney Carnation. Like, they're they're hard, but they're... But as when you get into more maps, it's a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> now, Stally Sage play, um, also from the Dramatic Fanatic. I don't like that at all. And, um... It's just a mess. Like, you're, you have to be on your toes, and there's nothing, like, too unique about it. Uh, yes, I, um, the husband got married. Woo! Cool, okay. I, I, there's not too much to discuss with that, and I'll probably make a video about, like, other things about Cuphead. Probably in, like, the next hour, so be on your toes for that. Phantom Express. I really like this battle because you had to switch between three different spots and uh, you can locate this near like the beginning of Inkwell Hell and you see a train and that's where you have to go. So I really like this boss because there's so many unique things. In the beginning, you there's the guy's throwing eyes at you. That could be avoided by using either Chaser, Roundabout, I usually use those, um, yeah, and, like, it's just a whole battle that I really like, like, everything just kind of fits in. I know I keep on using the same types of words, but this is what you're gonna get. Okay. Alright, seven, oops, seven minutes, and... And now we're in Inkwell Hell. This should be not too bad. Okay. Inkwell Hell. And this is for King Dice. King Dice and all of his little minions. First, we're starting off with a trio of alcohol, I guess. Um, don't really like them. Next one. <laughs> the uh, chips that you like the poker chips that move at you they're annoying but they're pretty simple like all of these are pretty simple they're just really annoying mr wheezy and if you're wondering yes it's like the first boss second boss third fourth fifth sixth and all, and so far so mr wheezy i like him he's really simple and he just looks like a cool dude he just disappears and doesn't have two advanced attacks Dip and Dot, annoying as heck. The ground is moving. And you have to avoid other attacks while that's happening. Hocus Pocus. If you don't be in the at the right spot at the right time, you lose a health point. And I don't like that, because moving sometimes could be a challenge. The, uh, the Dry Bone... I don't know. It kind of looks like Dry Bones from Mario. Veer Lab, the guy who's in that, like, kind of, like, floating thing, and it's a uh, air level. Don't really like him. It's an air level, and, yeah. <laughs> the spinning person, Parola Tata, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, she's alright. If you have a uh, smoke dash with a lot of these bosses, you should get by really easily. Um, the Magic 8-Ball, Magnostine. I don't really like him because it feels like a, uh, a dream and it feels like you just took a lot of, uh, illegal substances. Mr. Chimes. It's just the matching game. There's no unique thing about it. Don't really like him that much. King Dice himself. King Dice itself. I really like how he had like different bosses and I, I like how that was really unique but 
I don't think Cake Dice is like as good as Grim Matchstick or like Cagney Carnation because I like those bosses. But King Dice himself, he's pretty basic and just avoid and parry his stuff and you'll be okay. The Devil himself. Oh, yes. The Devil had very, very hard uh, phases. One where he like became a spider, a dragon. He did that like that like clap thing and became a goat. Um, he summoned fire. He summoned like bouncy balls, and I think he summoned one more thing. But all of those, and that's just the first phase. Now all of those, they they really like get you up and ready to go. But this is why. But the next phase is it's kind of a little bit lower. So. Once you defeat that, and he becomes a skeleton, and he falls down the hole, you're forced to go down there because of the fire. And then the second stage of the devil is him being a him being like super big. Now, the only thing that I like about this section is that if you don't parry these like bomb-looking things, they like blow up a big portion of the uh, map and I really like that because there you're probably like oh hey something I can parry but then you're like oh wait no I don't want to parry this like in the root pack it's very simple you can parry it without taking consequences this if you don't parry it you're gonna have consequences <laughs> so yeah and then you have to avoid like uh, the poker chips coming down the axe and I'm pretty sure those flying things, but if I'm not mistaken, they're they're also in the third stage. Now that leads me to the third stage. The, th the third stage is where he cries and the poker chips are coming down and you only have three spaces to go. You have to avoid the little, the big fat creatures and the poker chips and I'm pretty sure the axe, pretty sure, maybe. Now the last stage is just annoying. You just have to go and go out and then go back in to avoid the poker chips. And I'm pretty sure like those flying fat guys are there too. It's just a really uh, it's not extremely hard, but there's just so many things that you have to learn that makes it difficult. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, and uh, this is this is it. So, uh, yeah. Peace.